Welcome to Vindar's Concept, and today I have a very special class for you. And this is Physics Practical for YA 2023. And the first question, the number one question that they gave to us, if you look at that question very well, they say that they are giving a knife edge, a meter rule, that a mass of 100 grams will be labeled P, and a mass of other ones like 20, 40, 60, 80, will be labeled M. Then they also gave us a helical spring. This is called the helical spring. And then they gave us a retort stand. This is a retort stand. So I have, looked, I have looked at them and was able to come up with this experiment. What is the concept of this experiment? If you look at this experiment, the setup here, you will realize that I decided to put the 100 grams at the center of gravity of the meter rule. Why did I put, do that? I did it in order to help the meter rule because the mass of the meter rule is at the center of gravity to give it more weight for it to be able to do an oscillation because we are going to do an oscillation. And when you do this experiment and finish it, your table of value is going to be M, then T1 in seconds, T2 in seconds, then you now have T equal to T1 plus T2 all over 2 in seconds. Then, when you are done with this one, you now still go further to have T, capital T is equal to T all over N. Then this is another one, in, also in seconds. Then you have t, second, t square, which is also in second square. So please, is the space that made me to continue from here. So this is going to be here, and this is another place here. So what you are going to do is, first of all, when you slot in 20 gram here, because you may use a mass hanger, or you may use a solar tape, or paper tape to be masking it, place it tight at that particular point. And if you see this one is 80 cm, 80 cm, which is 10 cm from the helical spring, why this one is at the 90 cm mark, and this one is at 5 cm mark. So for every 20 gram, there is a time recorded, 40, 60, 80, and probably 100. And this is what you're going to have. Now, what I came here to do is to show you analysis of how the graph is going to look like. And, but what you have to understand is that the time for this T for 20 gram will not be the same as 40 gram because that will be, the period will be changing. And also, if you want to look at a full graph, a full experiment, which I have done, you can also check my YouTube channel. You will see that I have already done the experiment. So the time is increasing. So the increment in time leads to the increase in mass of the body leads to increment in time, or which is called increment in time, which is called the period. The period will be changing. So as the period is changing, and that's all. So when we come to this part, remember that if I am going to take t square is going to be equal to 4 pi square m all over k. So remember, I'm going to be plotting a graph of t square against m. Yes, therefore, I'm going to have t square is equal to 4 pi square over k in m plus c. This is the equation you are going to be dealing with. In this equation, you realize that this, this c, there is no value for c. That means our graph is expected to pass through the origin. It may not necessarily pass through the origin as a result of one mistake or the other, as a result of some irregularities while carrying your experiment. But it could pass through the origin because the intercept, which is C, is zero. But then what would be the value? What would be the value of your slope? The slope of this graph is going to be given as S is going to be equal to 4 pi square all over K. Because k, you don't know what the k is all about at that point. But whatever your k is, because the spinning, you must find the first constant, which is k. Whatever it is, this is how you are going to find the experiment. So this is all you expected to do in that number one experiment.
And also, looking at this body, you also remember that the total downward forces must be equal to upward forces. That is why I put this T, which is a tension, a force acting through this, the helical spring. That is what I came up with for this experiment for number one. Please stay put because other experiments for electricity and light will be coming your way very shortly. But please don't forget to share these videos, subscribe or follow depending on the social media you're following me and give us a very good comment for encouragement to come up with more content. Thank you and God bless you.